Hello everyone. Russia and China and our hero Biden. What do we do next? Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see this one coming 100 miles away. Uh, I can sit here and, and say this, that, and the other 100 different times over, but we all know what the hell happened. What happened is we elected Biden to office, and then the stupidity just went from there. China and, and both Russia were watching the, the American presidency and, you know, see who they could actually pull this off with. Now, so far, we're seeing you know, the Ukraine, you know, uh, incident move, uh, progress forward. And China is sitting there waiting for, you know, to see what Biden actually does, which he probably won't do little of anything except sanctions. And then they'll launch their uh, invasion of Taiwan. And this is what this is all about, is, you know, taking back territory that once upon a time was rightfully theirs, uh, according to them. But, uh, I don't know, I guess it's like, like one of them wait and see deals. I mean, ever since this guy's been in office, it's been one stupid disaster after another with Biden. I mean, biggest mistake he made was pulling troops out of Afghanistan, leaving American, uh, civilians behind enemy lines with their families uh, can 150,000 illegal refugees or, or aliens into this country and tremendous strain on the taxpayers and it just keeps going and going and going with Biden and we're only we're only what two and a half years into his presidency and we still have a two another two and uh, was it Not, I'm, I don't know what I'm getting to at, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we still have what? It's 2022, and we got what? Two, maybe two and a half years of him left, and he's already, and he's already got us going crazy. You know? <laughs> Wondering what's going to happen. Is this going to develop into a nuclear war? Well, we always knew this was coming, and we could see it. Like I said, we could see it a mile away. The tensions were building. I mean, this this doesn't doesn't uh, didn't start with with uh, Biden's presidency. This is, this has been going on since World War II. Um, you know, the trust and who can trust, and heated conversation. And if you remember back in World War II, China was actually our allies, and for some reason they decided not. Uh, well, the wrong with Russia not to trust us anymore, and then communism set in, which it's always been there, and uh, it's just been one thing after another. But it's really escalated here in the last 20 years with Russia and the United States and China and the United States, and of course it's a wait and see game. See what you know, one one person like a like a giant chess game. Uh, you see what one person will do, uh, one president will do, or or not do and waiting for the right time to do this that and the other well the time finally came they um, seen how weak Biden was and, and how many stupid mistakes he was making and say we well, yeah, have well, this is the perfect president to do this with because he's not gonna bust a grief and so Putin decided to go ahead and make that gamble and attack Ukraine well again we'll see what happens as this plays out uh, Hopefully we won't get involved in a full-scale war with Russia, but if it <laughs> if it does happen, it happens. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just it's a plan, um, not a, a planned event, but it's an event that we can't sidestep. I mean, like I said, we knew it was coming. Biden knew it was coming. I mean, as soon as Putin started making that move, he should have had troops over there already. Uh, my personal opinion: troops never should have been taken out of Afghanistan. But uh, I'm not the president. I know this sounds kind of kind of weird and strange and stuff like that, but you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. God help us, I tell you. Oh. We we'll see how the the stupid three pull this one out of the hat. You probably saying who? <laughs> 
What stupid three are you talking about? I'm talking about the president, the vice president, and Pelosi. You see how they handle this. I mean, they never listen to the end of their advisors. I mean, the generals have been telling Biden, don't do this, and he does it anyway. <laughs> Congress, uh, the Republican Congress is telling him, don't do that, and he done it anyway. I mean, I don't know what, what the deal is with Biden, but, you know, you know, years ago, I used to think Jimmy Carter was the worst president in history. Done some pretty stupid things, but Jimmy, if you're <laughs> Biden's winning the cake. I mean, Biden's won the prize, and when it comes right down to it, when they, when they, after his presidency, when they, when they move the uh, stupidest president award, it'll be moved right underneath his his picture. And Jimmy, look, you got to drop down one on that run for stupid. Uh, presidents. Years ago they had a TV series called America's Dumbest Criminals. I think they should make a new one called America's Dumbest Politicians. And, uh, <laughs> that would be an enter entertaining thing to watch. <laughs> of course we all know what's going on. God help us. Uh, I feel for the people of Ukraine and I actually feel for the those poor soldiers um, on the Russian side following Putin's orders. I mean, they're dying too. I mean, it's no... Uh, it's always about the politicians. I mean, they sit over there and they're fat, well-fed behind telling these people to go out and die for them, but they don't... I mean, they never look into the faces of those soldiers that are sending out there. They never, you know, look into the faces of the families that uh, they're, they're taking away... These kids are taking away from and put uniforms on and send over there just like us. The politicians over well, um, politicians over here, um, they never have to look at the, the soldier's face or the family's faces and say, I'm sending your daughter or I'm sending your, your son to, to battle. Then why? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> you know, because the president is stupid. You know, and then your son or your daughter has to pay the price for my stupidity. You know, because I didn't listen. And this is this is what it boils down to. Uh, I hope you'll pray for these, uh, um, pray for these people and uh, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and hopefully this will end, end quickly so we don't have to progress it into a World War III and uh, have another European front over here going on. Because Germany and our allies over there are awfully nervous right now and when people get awfully nervous they start doing things that they uh, doing things right now that they're going to regret the second after they do them, like launch nuclear warhead, warheads and stuff like that, or start doing things nervous. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I don't really need to uh, give you a history lesson of what's going on or, or we cl claim how dumb the president is because we already know that. Uh, but like I say, he... He's, this is incredible and <clears throat> I hope he starts listening to somebody because you know he's not listening to nobody and he's really being stupid about everything he needs to get his head out of his ass and start acting like a damn president we'll talk to you later